You know what's worse than dying? Knowing when you're going to die. Yesterday was a very sad day for a lot of people. Words were exchanged, emotions were shown, goodbyes were said. After someone put a piece of paper in front of Sleepy Joe and Sleepy Joe signed it in his sleep while standing on, in the White House. Which means TikTok ban has officially landed in the law in the US. But there's a twist to it. They still gave TikTok a nine months window to sell, aka ByteDance, the parent of TikTok, to sell it to a US owner. And in that case, if they do sell it to a US owner, TikTok will not be banned. Now, you probably know this, but to refresh your memory a little bit, let me tell you the main reason why they want to ban TikTok. They're saying, the US government is saying, it's a national security case where how do we not know that, you know, China doesn't come and pressure you to spy on U.S. Go you know, government, the U.S. people. You guys are spying on all of us. You guys are stealing all our data. And the only way you can save your company is if you sell it to us. And this rumor has been going on for months, claiming that China spies on you, steals your data, sells it to this and that, spies on your messages, can access your private files shit like that now do i trust tiktok no do i trust any other platform that is out there no as well do they steal our data 100 percent even google you go you search your data is saved and it can be sold to millions of companies out there it's not all necessarily a bad thing like for example you search something on google and then you go on instagram and that thing you were looking for pops up in the story ads whatever it is that you're swiping they use it for the algorithm on what ads to show you that you'll be interested to buy. Before we continue this video, I want to show you a funny video of a Sleepy Joe just this morning. Imagine what we can do next. Four more years. Pause. Four more years. Four more years. I honestly gave up on all the presidents year by year. Every four years we're going by. They're just getting worse and worse. Sleepy Joe Biden. Why can't we have someone in their 40s and 50s to qualify to be a president? Why do we have to bring 90-year-olds all the time? When the president doesn't even know how to fucking read a telegram that's right in front of him. And fucking handshakes, ghosts, walks randomly until someone guide him to go to his, uh, you know, go backstage. Because you're roaming around around yourself, basically, like a lost dog. Sometimes it feels like he just joined the White House for free unlimited ice creams, to be honest. Now that we're done with Sleepy Joe, let's go watch a video of TikTok's CEO responding to the ban. Hi, everyone. The show here, as you may have heard, Congress passed a bill that the president signed into law that is designed to ban TikTok in the United States. That will take TikTok away from you and 170 million Americans who find community and connection on our platform. Make no mistake, this is a ban. A ban on TikTok and a ban on you and your voice. Yes, it is true. It's a ban on you and your voice, but it is also a ban on all the money that they've been making. TikTok's main audience, main creators are based in the U.S. And if U.S. is banned, people are going to move to other platforms, you know, like fucking Instagram Reels and YouTube uh, Shorts. They're sitting out there. They're so happy. Yesterday was the biggest day on YouTube celebration on Shorts and fucking Instagram Reels that TikTok is banned. And finally, they're going to achieve everything they ever wanted they've been trying to get for the past couple of years he goes on and he says how tiktok helps you how tiktok is a very beautiful community i don't know if he goes and scrolls on tiktok much and sees the comments that 13 14 year olds make but we're just gonna go with this okay it's full of uh, fucking rainbows everywhere it's a beautiful place there's 170 million people currently using tiktok in the u.s that's like half of the u.s population and we got 10 million businesses as well. Now, TikTok is beautiful for exposure. When you first want to start, the first platform you got to start posting on is TikTok. A lot of creators, a lot of artists, a lot of streamers, they got Aisha Speed, uh, Queso, uh, Jinxie. All these people, they got popular over TikTok videos after their TikToks went viral. And these clip farmers, they start clipping their streams and posting it on TikTok. That's how I found out about all of them, literally. It also helped me get to 4.8 million followers over the past four years. Let's take like a moment of silence for the first video I ever posted in 2020. So what did they respond to this? They are going to challenge the government into court 
and they go it's they're saying it's their first amendment that they want to fight the government against this ban and they are working their best to remove it my friend you cannot go against the president in a lawsuit and win it's just not how things work but they're saying you enjoy tiktok and we are going to be working on this lawsuit with our best lawyers and we're going to defend you and your voice you know meaning their money and every billions and billions they make each month now do i think this tiktok ban is going to be good yes and no yes it's going to be good because it's a chance for you to go outside get some uh, fucking light touch some grass enjoy your life I, I i heard a very inspirational thing on a podcast a couple of days ago where they said when you wake up in the morning what is the first thing what's the first thing you do you right now watching what's the first thing you do you open your phone you check your phone you most likely go on tiktok and stay there for a while why would you want to live someone else's life when you open your eyes when you open your eyes you need to live your own life not someone else's that shit hit me so deep now i when i wake up i fucking have my coffee in front of the sun i don't touch social media until lunch but most people they're just gonna jump on reels and youtube shorts and it's gonna be overwhelmed with stuff i don't think the communities are going to match each other because each uh, platform ha community has its own personality but it's a W for Instagram and YouTube and TikTok is just going to take a big L. And the bad thing is you're going to be stuck watching cringe YouTube shorts while taking your daily poop sessions. And for all the TikTokers out there, you're going to have to move to other platforms or get full-time jobs if it doesn't work out for you. But do not worry. There's still going to be... See, TikTok came and made its mark, right? And there's, it's most likely they are not going to sell why even without us they will still be making hundreds of millions if not billions of dollars on a monthly basis there are still millions and millions of people and companies who are still going to use tiktok on daily basis to help grow their uh, company brands whatever yes it is going to die out a little bit but it is not worth it to sell what you sell everything you just go chill meanwhile us is gonna fucking make all the money it just does not make sense and there is no way in hell that they're going to sell so most likely after nine months they're gonna lose a lawsuit and they're gonna tiktok is just, just gonna be banned to so say your goodbyes um i already said my goodbye like last year i don't give a shit about tiktok anymore i don't even watch tiktok videos now i might be wrong about this as well maybe they're gonna come into a certain type of agreement with the government and they're not gonna ban tiktok after all maybe they the government is gonna fucking receive billions of dollars just to you know let this law go we don't know what's going to happen but so far if this is gonna go forward legally this these are my predictions and it's funny how with everything going on around the world right now the u.s is worried about tiktok spy data bro you got bigger shit to worry about honestly do i think the world's gonna be a better place without tiktok well no not really the world is already addicted to tiktok and there's gonna be other platforms who are going to take over and replace tiktok in the u.s uh, based and tiktok is still going to continue doing its own thing but yeah i just wanted to share this information with you it's a very very big news and i look forward to see what happens in this nine months i'll keep you updated if anything happens you're still eating your food and you're watching this video there's two more videos over here if your hands are full just click with your tongue or your nose and uh, you're good to go i'm gonna go enjoy being sick take care of yourself and i will see you at the next one